Hey you guys, what is up? I feel like it has been so long since I've made one of these. It's just been a super crazy month. I've been really, really busy doing a lot of work, trying to pay some bills. I've been doing a lot of traveling. I took a trip to Denver. I went to Red Rocks to see a show. I went to Michigan to go to Electric Forest. I'm super behind on both of those videos. I know I'll totally get to it. It'll come soon, I promise. But I've also been really busy working on music. And some of you might know, but if you don't, I officially released my first track about two, three weeks ago. And that was a remix I did for a love song, I Like Me Better. I was really lucky, it got released on Proximity Music. Huge shout out to Proximity, I really appreciate it. And honestly, the reception has just been overwhelmingly great. It's really strange that that's finally a thing, like, you know, it, it came so quick, I didn't realize I was gonna have music out so soon. And when I first started making these vlogs, I really wanted to document the process of what it was like, you know, starting, essentially starting from the beginning, um, not really being anybody or knowing anything, and working your way through. And I also really wanted to document uh, how much your mindset and the things you do can really play a huge factor in, in creating your own destiny and accomplishing the things you wanted to do. And that's part of the reason I wanted to make this video is because now that I've had that song out, I think just last week it surpassed a million plays. And as of right now, it's on like 1.6 million, which is just crazy. I never thought uh, a song of mine would reach that so quickly, let alone the first track I release. And what's really cool about that is just about a year ago, I was having a conversation with a friend and we were talking about goals and how important it is to set goals. And we, we were sort of setting some of our own and talking about them back and forth. And one of my goals was to have a song hit a million plays. I didn't really know what song that was gonna be. I didn't know when it was gonna happen, but I just knew that that was something that would be uh, really amazing and would really help me in my process of getting to where I wanted to go. And so I just thought it'd be really important to sort of touch on goals and why I believe setting goals is such a major game changer. Major game changer. Can you hear that? There's like kids screaming next door. And why setting goals is such a major factor in getting to where you want to be. So I'm going to give you three reasons of why I really think setting goals is something you should be doing right now if you haven't started already. First of all, setting goals is something that like primes your brain for success. You might not really realize it, but your subconscious can be way more powerful than you think. And sure, you can set a goal, like if you say, I want to lose weight or I want to lose 10 pounds, you know, you'll be consciously thinking about it when you're you know, going to eat, you might consciously choose different foods. But over time, you know, your, your brain and your subconscious will actually like start to embed some of that habitually into your actions and, and you'll start just like making those decisions without even really realizing it, especially after you've been doing it for so long. So starting by just setting a goal sort of gets your brain into that mentality, into that mindset of what it takes to get to that end point. Sort of like turning the key in the car before you go somewhere. It turns everything on, it sets, you know, it engages all of the electronics, it, you know, it primes the vehicle for, for takeoff to get to your end destination. So just by simply setting down with yourself and, and, and actually making goals is one of the best first things you can do uh, for any journey. Second, by setting goals, and I'm talking smaller specific goals, you're actually outlining the stepping stones to get to your ultimate end goal. So it can be really easy to just say, I wanna be skinny or I wanna be muscular, but that doesn't really do much for you. It's actually much more beneficial to set smaller goals like, I want to gain two pounds of muscle. I want to eat more calories. It, like These are very smaller specific things. So by setting these smaller specific things for yourself, you're actually outlining steps to build upon to reach your end goal. Having an end goal is great, but sometimes it's just too large to actually make steps and make progress towards accomplishing your end goal. Speaking of which, number three, I've found that setting goals and therefore accomplishing goals is one of the best ways to show yourself you're making progress. And making progress is one of the most motivational, encouraging things that can happen. When I first started producing, I was completely intimidated by the world I was stepping into. 
I didn't know much about it. I was totally a newbie coming into a different genre and really trying to learn a lot of things and that massive mountain of work in front of me was so intimidating, I almost didn't even wanna to begin to start. But I set a few small goals in the beginning and then as I progressed, I would, I would add more goals or tweak the goals, etc. And as I would do this, you know, like make three songs this week or one song this week or make a song using 808s or whatever. And once I would actually do that and I'd be able to look back and see that I actually accomplished that goal and I crossed it off, it was a really rewarding feeling and I actually could tell myself, hey, there's no reason to doubt yourself. You're actually, you know, you are accomplishing the things you're setting out to do. It might be small and it might be slow, but that is progress. And that progress compounds and builds upon itself over and over and over again. So I seriously recommend that you sit down, make some goals, and in fact, write them down. I, I think it's like making a to-do list. Crossing off a goal in your goal notebook is so satisfying when you can say, hey, I did this. So get yourself a notebook. This is mine. I use this for a lot of things, lyrics and ideas and goals and things like that. And make a list. Sit down, maybe sit down with a friend. You can bounce ideas back and forth. But start small, it's totally okay to start small. It's, in fact, I think it's more powerful to start small. It doesn't do you a lot of good to just say, hey, I wanna be famous. It's really hard to do something with that. So I really believe that once you start sitting down with yourself, having a conversation internally about what you wanna do and what you wanna accomplish, and then put it down on paper, it'll really empower you to go out and do those things. And you'll start noticing that while you work at these things, you'll be that much closer to accomplishing your passions and ultimately reaching your end goal. So that's just a starting point. There's a lot of really amazing information out there on YouTube and other motivational speakers that have way better things to say about this than I do. So I encourage you to go out there, check it out, bury yourself in it like I did, check out some podcasts. It's a really empowering thing. And I think I'll just leave uh, sharing a few of my own goals just because I really wanna be transparent with the process and I can be able to check in and say, hey, remember that time I made that goal? Well, guess what? Here we are. Manifestation is real and I'm totally doing this. So I got a few off the top of my head that I thought would be fun to share. Um, some of you guys might be familiar with my very faithful PT Cruiser, Sapphire Blue, the Turbo. I like to post about it a lot in my Snapchat. Uh, I told myself that if and when this vehicle dies and I have to get rid of it, I will not buy a new car unless it's a Tesla. I want my first vehicle that I purchased for myself to be a Tesla. I really love Tesla, I love Elon Musk, I love everything that they stand for. If my car dies, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make that a reality or, or live without a car. But it's really important to me that that becomes a realization. That's just one thing on music related. Other music thing, this is really easy, really basic. But like I said, start small, win big. I have a goal to release an original song sometime this year. So within 2018, original song coming out. You heard it here first. And I can't wait to check in with you guys down the road when I say, hey, remember that time I set that goal? Well, guess what? It's happening. Okay, sorry about that. Camera just died. Unfortunately, I came into this video having a ton of amazing things to say and then I just stumbled over my words over and over again for like 30 minutes while I tried to make this video. So needless to say, I'm still working on talking to a camera. I hope you can notice a little bit of an improvement. I feel like I'm getting there. Anyways, those are just a couple of my goals. I hope that this video has given you a few things to think about. Go out there, set some goals for yourself. If you're having some problems trying to come up with them or or maybe you want somebody to talk to and bounce some ideas back and forth, I would love to be part of that process. You guys help me so much in my personal growth, in my musical growth, in support, and everything. I just wanna be able to give that back to you. So don't be afraid to reach out, send me a message, send me a DM, you know where to find me online. So go out there, set some goals, crush some goals. We're totally doing this together. I'm on your side. Let's do it.